uh, SQL. So SQL is uh, the if you remember that we mentioned that when in the last week's lecture that SQL is the most popular querying language that in relational database. Um, and actually in uh, because most of the ArcGIS tools like ArcGIS, uh, QGIS, they still are organizing data uh, in the relational database. So they also support the SQL, so the most common SQL statement. So specifically in ArcGIS, so there are two types of the queries. So you can select by attribute or you can select by location. So Select by attribute is something like similar to perform an SQL statement. Select by attribute is something like uh, select by uh, geography. So you can select the spatial data by their spatial relationship. Select by attribute are selecting data based on their non-relational data, uh, um, non-spatial relationship. Uh, so SQL is a standard language that can manipulate relational database. Uh, however, de depending on the exactly specific relational database you are using, there are tiny differences, like if you are using post jre circle or if you are using MySQL. So there might be very fine, tiny differences. And if you are interested, uh, so you can check this online tutorial. So um, our textbook also have uh, has very detailed explanation of the most common SQL. So, and to be honest, I'm a bit, I'm a little bit surprised that uh, they have so many. They spend so many paragraphs talking about SQL. So, uh, basically, SQL can query data by selecting records from tables, or where specific criteria are met. We can also update records, delete records, insert records. Uh, we can also create tables, uh, create index, uh, even database users, etc. So SQL is, is super, super pro, um, powerful. And if you want to learn more about SQL, so we may need to spend another week. So uh, in this class, I'm not going to go too deep into the SQL because that is not the focus of this class. Uh, so if you are interested, you can just uh, just uh, read the textbook. So they have very detailed explanations. Uh, also, if you are interested in learning more about the database, and I do have a class that is I340, so that we are talking more about uh, database, data mining, um, um, etc. And if you are interested in the data visualization, so I have I342. So that is talking about more about data visualizations. OK, uh, so back to our domain, so back to geography. So uh, our textbook also listed uh, multiple queries that by geography. And again, uh, in ArcGIS, it is called select by location. OK, select by location. So there a lot of common queries by geography. Again, you don't need to remember all of them. Uh, I don't remember all of them. So you you don't need to do that as well. Um, and also, I think their names are, are already very intuitive. So just by looking at their names, you will know that what they're talking about. And let's just look at one as an example. So the intersect. So Intersect is probably the, the most frequently used uh, query. Uh, personally, I use Intersect a lot. So Intersect will allow you to select features in the target feature that have a common uh, spatial location with the source feature. So when we perform the queries about the geography, so we have our target and we have our source, OK? Uh, so based on the relationship, spatial relationship between the target and also source, so we can select the uh, the desired um, features from the target layer. And also when we talk about query by geographies, and you have to be sure, you have to be careful about that. 
what type of the features can be used as source and also what type of features can be used as target. So some queries that they only allow, for example, point as source and also polygon as a target. And some queries may might be the opposite so that polygon can be the target a source and also point can be the target. So that is something that you should be uh, very careful. So in this case for the intersect, the query allow all three type of spatial features can be both source and also target. So that's that's very flexible. Uh, so here let's see one example. So in this example, the highlighted blue and also yellow features are selected features uh, that are intersect with the red features. Okay. So the source in this case will be the red features and also the um, the selected features will be the highlighted. Okay. So let's say the first example. So where we are using intersect in this first example that uh, we see that different type of the features that intersect with point. Okay. So we can have point intersect with point. We can have line intersect with point. And we can also have the polygon intersect with point. So in the first example that we can see that the selecting feature and also source feature are all points. Uh, so in this case, you can see uh, the points, the both points intersect with each other. So that means they share the common coordinates. They share the, the same X and Y. So this one was this one from the target feature has been selected. On the second example that uh, we are going to use the line feature to intersect with a point. So now you can see this uh, blue line that um, touch um, or pass this point, this point. Uh, so that means that there's one point on this blue line that shares the same coordinate with this red point. So if you are using the line feature, uh, if you are selecting the line feature that intersect with those points, and this line will be selected. And on this example, the polygon example, so if you want to select polygons that intersect with those uh, points, and this polygon will be selected because um, the point was located within this polygon. So the polygon is kind of two dimensional area that this point is within the area of this polygon so that that polygon will be selected. Uh, we can use uh, all the three type of feature to intersect with line features. So in this case we can see this line intersect with this point intersect with, with this line. So this line this point will be selected. We can also use line to intersect with line feature. So here um, they share a common point in this case so that uh, this blue line will be selected if you are using the intersect. And in this case, we can see there are two polygons that the line feature kind of pass through those two polygons. Uh, so they share the, those common parts. OK, so they share the common parts so that those two polygons will be selected. So those po two polygons are intersecting with those lines. And finally, we can also use polygon. Okay, so that intersect, uh, intersect uh, with other features. So um, this point is intersecting with those polygons, with those red polygons. Okay, because this point is inside of those uh, polygons. And here we have two lines that touch those polygons. Okay, so those will be selected if you choose intersect. And we can also have polygon that intersect with polygon. Okay, so if they share the, the common area. Okay, so, uh, so that is intersect. Um, there are also more queries. So again, I don't think you need to remember all, all of those queries. And to be honest, I don't remember all of those queries. Uh, so when you use that one in ArcGIS Pro or when you use that one in some other type of the uh, GRS tools, so they all have very, very specific explanations. 
Okay, and also our textbook also have very great examples that shows that what does each mean. So sometimes they are just opposite selection of the of the of each other. So like complete contain and also are complete within. So they are kind of opposite selection of, of uh, to each other. Okay, so you don't need to remember all those queries. The best way to understand those queries is is through different uh, exercise.